The history of market reaction to releases of crude oil from the reserve shows that strategically deploying oil from the SPR is good public policy and can have an immediate beneficial impact on crude oil, gasoline, and other petroleum product prices. SPR experience also shows that the downturn of gasoline and other prices is apt to occur with the mere announcement or anticipation of an announcement of a release. I will focus on some of the details of the results of the actions taken by the Reserve, including the release of oil before the first Gulf War, the announcement of the sale in 1996, the 2000 exchange of oil, and the announcement of a release after Hurricane Katrina in 2005. Each of these releases from the Reserve are good examples of the implications that can uh, be the result of a, re of a release. They provide insights into the results of actions by the Reserve in response to real, anticipated, or perceived oil, and in some cases product supply shortages, or to send messages to overly heated markets that the U.S. government is prepared to use the Reserve to protect consumers. The sale of oil from the SPR in concert with the first Gulf War was announced on January 16, 1991, in anticipation of the impending conflict. The disruption on which the finding was based had not actually occurred. In the face of impending military conflict, the administration utilized the SPR's anticipatory authorities for the drawdown. On January 17th, the price of oil fell from $32.25 to $21.48 and stabilized. In the Omnibus Appropriations Act for 1996, the Congress directed DOE to sell $227 million worth of oil to achieve the overall budget target for the year. At that time, retail gasoline prices were climbing. Shortly after the law was enacted, President Clinton implemented the sale of approximately 12 million barrels from the SPR. The decision to sell the oil immediately resulted in a downturn in gasoline prices on April 29 and 30 that continued through the first week of October of that year. The principal impact of the announced sale was psychological, temporarily halting the bullish pressures in the market and led to a reversal in both crude and product prices. Selling oil is not the only way uh, the SPR can be used to help alleviate uh, price problems. In 2000, home heating oil inventories were extremely low and President Clinton gave then Secretary Bill Richardson the authority to exchange 30 million barrels from the SPR to the market. As a result, as the chairman pointed out in his opening statement, oil prices dropped 34 percent by the end of the year, going from $30.94 to $20.38 per barrel. After Hurricane Katrina, uh, prices began to rise very dramatically because of disruptions in productive capacity in the Gulf. On September 2, 2005, President George W. Bush issued a finding of severe energy supply interruption and directed the Secretary to withdraw and sell oil from the Reserve. The announcement uh, of, after the announcement, and that in each of these cases, it's the announcement that causes the price to change. Uh, the actual movement of oil occurs weeks later. Uh, the price dropped from 69.50 to 66.91 the next day and continued a steady decline for several months. The price did not exceed the peak until April of 2006. Uh, at that point, the f refilling of the reserve was suspended for another year. Uh, it's difficult to know the exact impact uh, of, a, of, a, of a release, but as these releases indicate, the psychological impact and the fact that more oil is going into the market causes the price, has caused the price to go down for extended periods of time. Um, it has to be a substantial amount uh, of a release in order to have that effect, uh, but I think some of the proposals that are being considered today uh, or by the Congress uh, would be substantial. I also want to point out that you have a unique opportunity to utilize the SPR uh, to address the current energy crisis in a way that can add to significant funding for new alternative uh, energy, clean energy for the future. Uh, if you took the GAO as advice uh, to release oil, light oil from the reserve, which is all it contains right now, in contrast to the four, some 40 percent of heavy oil that our refining industry uses uh, today, and did an exchange over time and allowed the department to, to make decisions as to when that oil would be, would be so, so released and when it would be brought back, the price differential that GAO has estimated 
is about $12 a barrel between light and heavy oil. If you monetized that differential over uh, the, the 70, uh, 70 million barrels, you could bring in more than $800 million into the government that, the, that is not anticipated under the current budget and use that for many purposes, but one that I would suggest would be as a down payment on the next generation of clean domestic energy resources. Um, I see that I'm about to run out, have run out of time, so I would uh, just want to point that out and uh, make those suggestions. I hope the history of the reserve has been helpful, and I thank you for asking me to, to come today. Thank you, Mr. Simpson.